Hello and fellow foxes, my name is Oledo and welcome back to another Cats or Crash and Lina Turbo Stars video. So this video, uh, we're gonna spend a ton of cat paws. So as you can see, I'm currently in my second prestige run uh, and we're in stage eight already. So we're almost out of the metal parts. It's getting a little tough now. Uh, so as you can see, I've mostly been able to get instant promotions. Uh, but yeah, it's getting a little bit tough. I'm not sure if I will get uh, much further, but luckily enough, uh, tonight there's like uh, the championship round will end, so I will get a, a, a promotion anyway, and I'll definitely go to stage nine uh, as of tonight. And who knows, perhaps again get some more instant promotions after that. So we're getting quickly to the military part. There, that's mostly the stage where I have most trouble. Usually I stay there for like a couple of days, like five days or something. But then once we reach the golden part, it should go smoother and smoother. So there we go. We're already uh, on to a great start after prestiging just uh, like two days ago or something. So we're doing pretty good. So let's head back here. So I haven't spent a single cat paw since I uh, prestiged uh, previously. So let's take a look here. And as you can see, I currently have 11 cat paws available, which I can spend. So we'll quickly go over the certain skills you can purchase, what skills I think which are useful and which you should consider getting yourself. So first and foremost, it's important that you ha that there's like a wide a range of skills and some skills are very useful while others are almost like complete other crap. Okay, so the main thing you have to understand here is that the main portion of your health from your uh, your vehicle or your machine will come from how much health your body has. Uh, but that can be multiplied by, for example, wheels who have uh, a bonus uh, to your body's health. But really, most of its health comes uh, from your body. So now one thing you should definitely not do is purchase upgrades uh, for your wheels. So for example, this one, two knobs, this skill uh, increases health of all knobs. This is a completely useless skill as most of your health comes from your body and not from your wheels. On top of that, this is a very specific skill, only uh, useful when you're using knobs. So you're gonna be using all kinds of different wheels uh, throughout your cat's career. So yeah, you're gonna not always have knobs. So that's when you don't use knobs, this will be a wasted skill basically. So instead of buying these uh, upgrades for your reels, I would much rather advise you to get uh, health upgrades for your body, for example, like this custom surfer. So you'll quickly notice like you will have a, uh, a preferred body type. In my opinion, as a surfer and a whale, uh, you could have different ones, for example, the Titan. So if that's the case, you can buy uh, the Titan upgrades for health or for example, this pyramid here, if you like pyramids. So that's what I would suggest you doing, okay? So next thing is you have these upgrades which are very general and just give you more gold in general. So most of my gold is generated by selling items. That's the reason why I max this one quite quickly and I think this is a great thing to max first. Uh, this merchant here, it gives a bonus points for selling parts. It's really crucial. So as you can see, another thing here is bonus coins. It gives bonus coins from supply boxes. This one I'm gonna max today. I think it's really useful. And like in my second prestige run, I definitely have some trouble uh, with getting enough gold to fuse all my parts. So having that additional gold from these boxes will definitely help. So for three can paws, we're gonna purchase, uh, we're gonna max out this skill here and it's gonna give us 30% uh, more coins from supply boxes. So let's upgrade this one here. There we go, that's, that's one's maxed. So now a second one here is this one over here. The cheaper skips, this counts for skipping opponents and quick finds. I gotta be honest, like skipping, cost a ton of money, but I gotta be honest, I don't do that many uh, quick fights anymore. They are really time consuming, uh, but like if you're a hardcore player, you should definitely max this one. I'm not gonna max this one today. I'll probably do it later uh, in this prestige run or probably in the next prestige run. Uh, because as also one thing you have to know is that it gets uh, more expensive to upgrade something. So the first upgrade costs one, uh, the second upgrade costs two cat balls and the third upgrade cost three, so this one already cost three uh, camp paws to upgrade for the same bonus, which is a 15% increase uh, or a decrease in skipping costs, basically. But yeah, I think it's a really useful skill, especially if you're hardcore, uh, but at the moment I'm not playing that hardcore, so it's not that useful. So a more useful uh, thing here to purchase for me is this championship defense, gives bonus coins for a successful defense in a championship. 
So every time other players battle against your car and you win that fight, uh, you will get a bit of gold for that. And you can increase the amount of gold you get from that by purchasing this skill. So it goes up with 20%, which is quite a big chunk. So we're gonna max this skill also. There we go. Now this one is maxed and we'll get a 60% uh, additional income from that. I think that's really good. So at the moment we've really like upped our coins game and we will be receiving a lot more coins to spend on fusing parts. Now a next thing which is really crucial and like in my first prestige run, I didn't really understand the importance of that. I, I thought it was nice, but I didn't do much with them. And that's these toolboxes. So toolboxes are very crucial and very important. Um, as you can see, buying these upgrades will increase their efficiency with 15%. So they will give you 15% additional attack or 15% additional health. Now, in the beginning, I didn't really use my toolboxes. I saved them up for later. That's not the way to go. You gotta uh, use your toolboxes. Uh, whenever you need them basically because putting multiple toolboxes on the same uh, body or weapon just gets insanely expensive so you can't put like a max of four toolboxes on uh, one body or one part basically so okay the big question is obviously should you go for uh, the better health toolboxes or the better attack toolboxes why well my personal opinion is go for the health toolboxes instead of the attack dual boxes, reason being there are a lot more places uh, to put your health dual boxes on. So these attack dual boxes can only be placed on weapons, uh, while these uh, health dual boxes can be placed on bodies, wheels and gadgets. So you have a lot more place to place these uh, tool boxes. On top of that, wheels and gadgets, you're normally going to keep those over longer periods of time. So like in my first uh, prestige run basically, uh, I used wooden wheels all the way from the wooden stage up to the carbon stage till I prestige. So if, like putting a toolboxes on those wooden wheels would have been very useful as those toolboxes would have keep, kept on benefiting me for a very long period of time. Well, instead uh, weapons, you're most likely going to switch those over like, I don't know, like at least uh, like every uh, tier upgrade you can get. So you're not going to use, I don't know, um, military uh, rockets when you're in a carbon stage. That is just not a good idea and you should definitely upgrade your weapon by then. So that's the reason why we're maximizing here our health toolbox. So let's purchase that one. There we go. So we've maximized a lot, maximized a lot of skills as of right now. So we got two capos left. So let's scroll a bit to the right here. And here we get to some fancier upgrades here for our skills. So one is this one here, the quick bet reward. I've maximized this one already. This is really good. I definitely advise you getting this one. It makes quick betting uh, a lot more fun and, it, and by having this upgrade, doing quick bets makes a lot more sense and it can really be a great way to maximize your parts bonuses. So while I do use a lot of uh, double rockets at the moment, I'm not really, really using them. Uh, so I'm not gonna upgrade this one. I don't even have the skills for it. But I'll probably maximize this skill also like in this prestige run, probably. Now, so what more do we have? Like this one here, stronger boosters might be useful, especially if you're rocking a bouncy boulder. This should be something which you could consider getting. Um, uh, I'm, not, I'm just not sure like what an impact a 10% boost to uh, your boosters has. So I'm not gonna purchase it, perhaps in the future. I don't really know what the impact is, you know. So also definitely don't forget to get this one, the more quick bets. This is a really good uh, uh, skill to have because you get an additional quick bet, that's just awesome. So here are the three new bets which you got from prestiging a second time. So the first one is Stronger Repulse, makes all repulses more powerful. So basically this is the equivalent of this Stronger Boosters here. So like basically when people touch your repulse, they will get repulsed farther away, I suppose. So I'm not really sure if this is particularly useful. I'm not gonna purchase it as of right now. Another thing you can get is more long bets and locks an additional long bet. Well, I gotta be honest here, guys. I don't do long bets at all. I think they're not worth it anymore since my quick bets are just so insanely powerful. Like a long bet gives like seven to 10% bonus, but you gotta wait four hours for that. And a quick bet gives three to 5% bonus. And I only have to wait three or four minutes for that. So that's insane. Like with two quick bets, I can have the same value of one long bet. So I'm definitely doing long bet, uh, short bets as of right now and no longer doing any long bets. So that's the reason why I won't be getting this upgrade. One upgrade I will be getting in this episode here though is this weapons synergy. Increases the damage when using the same weapons. It's only by 5%, so no, it's not a whole lot, but 
think about it. Quite often you're gonna use twice the same weapon. Like Bouncy Bowler uses two blades. Uh, on most of my vehicles I put two double rockets. So it just happens a whole lot that you use the same weapons. So therefore I will get this one. It's not a major increase, but it definitely makes a change. So as you can see, normally uh, you only get a 10% increase. Uh, but yeah, it's only 5%, but it still can make an impact. Keep in mind though that it is quite, uh, quite expensive Quite expensive because the first upgrade option costs two cat posts, so cat posts, So keep that in mind. We're gonna purchase this as of here. There we go. And the second upgrade is gonna cost three cat paws, and the third upgrade probably four cat paws. So there we go. I uh, we spent all our cat paws. I think we spent them quite wisely, and so definitely pay close attention when spending these cat paws, as it can be quite crucial on what you do them. I would normally recommend like saving them and like spending them on useful stuff. Uh, for example, when you're all when you ba just barely can get that instant promotion and you need a little bit more attack, I don't know, on, on your laser, then purchase a laser upgrade. Or if you're mainly using bouncy boulder, then definitely get this monster of blades. It just really depends on your playstyle. I don't use bouncy boulder a whole lot, so I haven't purchased that one. But as you can see, I've I've all already almost maxed all of my like general upgrades, and these are really good because every prestige do these things will be useful, like at every stage of the game, I wanna, having more gold is a benefit, you know. You're gonna have to use a lot of gold. And the more gold you have, the more parts you can fuse to make your parts better, so it's really quite crucial. So as you can see, this is the current build which I'm rocking, it's not very good. Oh, as you can see, we actually got a 14% increase, but I don't know because of what reason. I don't know, why did we receive 14% bonus attack, I don't know. Doesn't really matter, um, but yeah, this is not a good vehicle as you can see guys. Uh, it's pretty crappy so we're gonna remove it and try and build something better uh, to get the chest basically. So what should we be using? Normally I like to use wells and surfers, uh, so I got a decent well over there. The sneaky isn't too bad neither, so I don't know, what should we be using? A sneaky... Let's actually use this uh, Sneaky here, because this Sneaky has quite a bit of health. It's a 3-star uh, part, so that's quite good, and also got two attachment slots. So let's pick this one here, and let's put some ranged weapons on this one, because ranged weapons just have the advantage that they can, that they can just kill your opponent faster than melee weapons can do. So let's take a look here, what do we want to put on, them, on this guy? How many rockets? Yeah, we got a bunch of rockets here, guys. Um, so let's pick this one here, and now we got seven energy left uh, for something else. Uh, now what should we put on this one? Perhaps a blade might be decent as well in front. How much does this one take? Six? I don't know, let's, I don't know. What should we pick here? I'm gonna go with a blade actually, I like blades. So there we go, let's put that one in front. Now what wheels will we pick? So I'm gonna put a small wheel in front. Actually, let's put this one in the back and put a knob in front. So that way we stay very low to the ground. And let's see if we can get some uh, a, a toolbox at this one or a chest I mean. So should we be able to win this battle here? I don't know, let's test it out. I think we can. Okay, unless we get flipped. No, there we go. We got a, a first win. So now we gotta get win one more uh, to get a, a box. Because as you can see, I currently have four available box slots. That's not very good. You don't want to have that. So let's skip here because that dude is a little bit too strong. I don't know. Can we beat this one? Probably not. Um, this one is also too strong. Then my ve like I really need to do some upgrading because my vehicles aren't that strong. But I just ha don't have the right body, like I haven't gotten the right whale or the right surfer. So I'm really just messing with some stuff and see if it's useful or not. So yeah, can we win this one? I don't know. Will the lasers kill us? I don't know. So let's test it out. Oh, damn! We actually got that one. That's quite surprising. I didn't expect that. We were able to kill him before his lasers could fire at us. So there we go. That's the box. Let let's unlock it. And there we go. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to try out to get it like some kind of new body because 
Like really you want to have a body with two weapon slots and like one attachment slot up front. Um, but like like this one is kind of good, but like look at that, it's a two star wooden part. That obviously isn't going to get me very far. I really need to get a good metal part. Like this one is really good. I've tried building some bouncy boulders, but somehow I really messed them up. Like this is like the perfect body for a bouncy boulder, obviously. On top of that, I also have um, like this one here, this booster with a 20% a health booster boulder. So that's pretty insane, but I've tried out so much stuff and it's just really hard. Like I can't even jump over a normal surfer. I've tried all kinds of different wheel placements. Uh, but it just doesn't happen, so I must be, I must just suck at Bouncy Boulder, right? I don't know. So really looking forward to get, like even with a, a good Titan, I would be happy as well. Uh, but preferably a good um, Surfer or Whale. But as of right now, I haven't received one, so let's keep on praying to the Cat's Gods that they will uh, be gracious and give me one of those. Also, one thing you also can see is I'm currently in first position in the league, actually, in the Golden League. That's quite cool, because that means that I will be getting 15 gems and a Legendary Toolbox. And that's quite exciting. Um, I actually have to give props to Zeptalab here, because I really think you get quite a lot of gems in the game, just by normal playing. Like, you get enough gems to basically recover all of your bad parts, because that's the main reason... Uh, why I would be using gems is just to get your uh, the part the parts you bet which you lose to get that those back and you know once in a while like unlock a chest quickly um, if you want to play a bit more but as you can see I'm gonna get 15 gems here that's quite insane and on top of that a legendary box so I have quite a uh, like I have almost 500k ranking points which is quite insane like we're getting close to that million actually and we're quite uh, quite ahead of all these other guys, so that's kind of exciting. Uh, actually, let's take a look at the top place to see where I'm at like in the world. I'm currently uh, number 3,300 in the world, so that's quite decent. Like, If I could like in the top 1,000th of this game, that would be like a really cool accomplishment in my opinion. But yeah, that was the video for today. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, to get updated on future cats videos, which is like every single day. And also don't forget to like the video if you did. Stay awesome, fellow foxes, and see you next time.